Why are you letting it bother you so much? <laughs> what? You think that's a normal reaction? Of course you should be upset. So the guy's got some insecurity issues? Show me a guy who hasn't. And that excuses his reaction? I'm not saying that, but he's a bloke. He's meant to be immature. I can't believe you're going all bunny boiler over some girl. You should be out there spreading your baby gravy about. What? Like you? When's the last time you got laid? Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you're happily married. Four to five fucking minutes. We've been married for six months now, and yeah, I'm happy. So what's so wrong with that? One bit of skirt for the rest of your life? No way. I could not do that. I could. Mine came with a free helping of dessert. Hello, ladies. I'm. Um... Girls, meet my new friend, Nigel. Nigel? My name's Nigel. Yeah, of course it's sweetheart. Sit yourself down. What the hell? Here you go. Maybe I'll call you later. You should. I'll uh, make it worth your while. What with? A free meat feast? <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Well, uh, as long as it's a 12 inch. I'm uh, sure you won't be disappointed. No. And the dough balls aren't bad either. I, I am. <laughs> Best be off. Uh, I'll see you later. <sighs> a thing of beauty. Is there no one you won't hit on? Of course. But not if they've got an ass like that. And you can be sure I ain't going to give a toss about how he feels about me in the morning. What? I'm not sorry. I'm just out for some harmless fun. And besides, um, actually, we're both too young to be hung up on some bloke. What? Oh, look, you can say that sort of stuff to your missus. You've been together forever. That's not something you say after a few months. You're stuck in the dark ages. If that's how you feel, you should tell her. That is some weak ass shit. Now forget about her, we'll find you someone who's a bit more up for it. It's not always about getting notches at the end of your bedpost. Sometimes some of you guys have to feel something for the girl before we jump in the sack. Bullshit. If you got a pulse and a dick, then you're built for one thing. And that's going balls deep in, my friends. I'm just too loved up to see it. Here. Get these down, yeah? And tonight... You'll be wading through so much, Fanny, you'll need your wellies. <laughs> you want to leave you hanging? We can jog on now, mate. Excuse her, friend. He's sexually frustrated. That's not surprising, really. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Cheeky bastard. I ain't got no problem with the ladies. Twat. The only thing he's putting is himself. <laughs> Fuck me. Have you never had feelings for any of the men you've been with? Firstly, you say that as if I've been with loads of blokes. For the record, I haven't. And second, the only feeling I want when I'm with a guy is the one that starts between my legs and sends a tingling sensation through the rest of my body. Hmm. Mind you, that hasn't happened since Gary and I finger banged me at Amy Walt was 16. Oh, Jesus. That guy had some stunning finger skills. Somewhere out there is one happy lady with a permanent smile etched on her face. Seriously? Seriously. Not me, though. No, no, I don't zip. Just anticlimax after. Well, you get the point. In my experience, drunken shacks tend to end disappointingly. Two pumps and a squirt, followed by the tramp walk in the morning. And we're back on to you again. You asked me a question. I'm just... What do you mean, back on to me? We're meant to be here to support Claire. 
and somehow the conversation has... I believe it is fine. No, she needs to realise the world doesn't revolve around her. I'm sure you guys are aware that only 10% of women come during sex. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true, but go on, a wise one, enlighten us. I will. I have never failed to pleasure a woman. 100% success rate. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want, but I've got the technique down and it works. Come on, Colonel Santos, what's the secret ingredient? <laughs> So funny, guys. <laughs> Our friend here was just about to impart some ancient sexual techniques that'll make Casanova's eyes water. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't need to hear this. You're married, mate. Your sex life is all but over. Come on, Ben. I'm dying to get a load of this. That works. Hell yeah. They go bat crap crazy for it. Bullshit. No, seriously. This one bird was into it so much that she started grunting, you know, like, like that Russian bird, the tennis player. You know, ah, 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 ah! You're full of it. That was a bit much. Me? What about her? So just because I didn't find the man of my dreams in Freshers Week, what? I'm now some desperate slapper that'll take any man that will have me. No, it's the fact that you're treating every weekend like you're still a fresher with smacks of desperation. You're kidding yourself. If you really think you're happy doing... Hello? Oh, what do you want? No, now's not a good time. Why are you calling me anyway? What's wrong with you? Sex is sex is sex. It doesn't have to be complicated. Love is complicated. He's right. There's nothing as complex as love. Oh, not you as well. I'm not talking about marriage and love and the whole 2.4 children <coughs> rubbish. Put that white picket fence bullshit out of your head just for a minute and let the concept of meaningless sex wash over you. Ah, you get it. I don't have a problem with meaningless sex. It's just... Oh, don't give me that guilty conscience bollocks. Girls do it as well, you know. In fact, I reckon they do it more than us. Everyone does it more than you done one. Fine, whatever. But you can't tell me you won't be thinking about what well, she looks like naked. If only for a minute. Let the lesson begin. You can't really expect me to just forget what happened. Well, that was then, Dan, and thanks to you, things are different now. <sighs> things are different. I'm different. It's been ages. I've moved on. I'm not interested. I haven't. Well, you seem to be doing okay when I walked in on you and your boss. I didn't mean anything. No, look, just meet me for one drink. No strings, just a chat. I can't. I'm out with the girls tonight. Just one drink? I don't know. Well, I, uh... I heard you and Dave have split up, so... That's got nothing to do with you. Wait. Is that what this is? You think I'm vulnerable? A soft touch? I'm not going to be some kind of booty call. There's no way you're going to weasel your way back into my bed, Dan. I know, I'm not expecting anything like that. I just, just want to tell you how sorry I am and uh, try and make it up to you. Baby, I was a dick before, but I want to put it right. Ignore that guy. I'm so glad I don't have to do it no more. All that thrill of the chase rubbish. I found someone I love, and... Who loves me? It was like we were meant to be together. I can't imagine being with anyone else. I wish that you'd be honest with yourself and admit that deep down you want... The same thing. Maybe she's the one. Maybe she's not. But going out every night and having meaningless sex isn't going... Help you find that special someone. Hang up now! It's for your own good. That guy was completely and utter bell end. Thinking about heading somewhere else after these. Nah, it's too early. Anybody want to ask me how I got on then? How about we go to another pub that's a bit more livelier? Mm. It's like a morgue in here. I bet there'll be some skirt for you to look at. You can show us some of your Mac Daddy moves. Boys, boys, boys. Pubs are where girls go to drink away their inhibitions. So when we see them later in the clubs, 
they're more receptive to our charms. Besides, you say I haven't already got a date for tonight's no pants dance. She didn't even wait to hear your name before she rejected you. <laughs> You're seriously telling me that you've never had a one night stand? Of course not. Of course you haven't. I bet you have though. Yeah, kind of, but... But what? You can't tell me that you've never felt the smallest tinge of excitement. Well, it was kind of... It was kind of a disaster from start to finish. When we were at uni, I went out with some friends, got very drunk, and I met this guy and... Uh, was and he fit? I guess, I was pretty hammered. Anyway, we ended up going back to his place, we were kissing and stuff, and then... You dirty bitch! Was he any good? Well, that's just it, I wasn't really into it. Really? No. Not that it mattered. About a quarter of an hour after we get to his place, this girl turns up. She's wasted big time. Before I know what's happening, we're in the back of a taxi, going to a house fight with the girl and some of her friends. To cut a long story short, he goes off with Drunk Girl, and I'm left talking to a couple of art students about how Tracy Emmons' My Bed illustrates how she's as insecure and imperfect as the rest of us. That the skanky bed with the dirty knickers and period stains? Oh. That is so wrong. It was a close call. I only would have woken up in the morning and regretted it. No, I meant about the Yemen thing, but... Maybe we should give Nodger a call and see if he could put a smile on your face. How soon is too early for? Well, that fella is the age-old question that's been plaguing man since the dawn in a time. But there is an answer. What's that then? You've got to go with your gut. When it's right, it's right. And you'll never know unless you try. You're a fount of knowledge, aren't you? It's too late now, besides. What's too late? The young man was asking when's the right time. I'll let him explain. It's nothing, really. You here a lot? Yeah, a couple of friends are going to meet me here, but they've been held up at another bar. But listen, I'm sorry about my friend earlier. <clears throat> no doubt he said something completely inappropriate. He was original, I'll give him that. But to be honest, I have heard better. What did he say then? Something along the lines of, hello, my name's blah blah blah. Oh, Jay, by the way, my name. Hi, I'm Dev. I have a boyfriend. I went to the zoo on a school trip when I was 12. E excuse me? Sorry, I thought we were sharing pointless shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a total plank. That's two I've met tonight. Mm, no, sorry, I didn't mean you. I had dinner with some lecherous jerk earlier on. Sounds fun. <laughs> it was, when I threw my plate of spaghetti in his face. Anyway, I better go rescue my friends before they do something stupid. We're off to reflex later. Maybe I'll see you there? All right, with them drinks, soppy bollocks. I can't do this. I've only just graduated from uni. I want to go travelling and see the world, and then I want to concentrate on a career. You talk about family and marriage, and we're both far too young for that. I certainly am. Don't you want to try new things, see new people before you settle? I do. I love you, but I can't do this. I'm sorry, I need to go. Game is afoot. Uh, what do you think you're doing? You heard her. She wants to try something new. Oh. <laughs> Does that guy have no boundaries? Fred, no. Oh. We're going too early for that poor bastard. <laughs> I guess she wasn't as ready as you thought. Maybe I'll see you later. Did you see the way she looked at you then? That's math, mate. So, which one? The red one looks more slutty. I approve. <laughs> it's too slutty. The green one. No way, she's not going to midnight mass. Let's see what else she got. Oh, it's Lee. Oh, they say they're going to reflex. We'll be giving that place a wide berth then. Please let it stop. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Thank you.
Morning, nosy. Morning, noisy. Oh, for a second, I thought, oh, really, the pizza boy? What? Are you going to see him again? Hell no, he delivers pizzas for a living. Although he has restored my faith in mankind. So I heard. Twice. So, if you're in there, where's, where's Claire? Claire? What? You ain't gonna believe this. Can't it wait? Not really. I'm sending you a picture. Bring me back in five. Who keeps calling you? Chris. Wants to show me something. What? How? Who's that? Chris. Yeah, I know that. I mean, who's the girl? She's cute. Because she was ready to try something new. I wonder how much she had to pay her. <laughs> this, I'm sorry. I overreacted. I just didn't know. I love you.